Good morning, GT. Good morning, crew. Tuesday morning, chilly Tuesday morning in North Carolina. I wanted to talk to you guys this morning about time in versus time off. You know, it's important that we stay focused in our daily habits. It's important that we stay and maintain our uh, our daily focus into our, our business every single day. You know, it's as entrepreneurs, even though we don't have storefronts, even though we don't have, you know, a lot of times a place to be, to go to a desk or an office to sit in, whether it's your home office, uh, but we have to treat it as so. You know, the more time that you, you take out of your business, the less productivity it's going to get. And you know whatever your goals are, and I know a lot of you set goals at the beginning of the year, whether it was, uh, you know, 15k a month or 20k a month, or you know, I know we're pushing right now to create what we call Hall of Fame producers, and that's 20 to 30 sets a week, you know, at anywhere between 30 to 40 thousand and up a month in productivity and production. Yeah, but it, it's going to have to take a commitment. It's going to have to take for each and every one of you to really self-reflect and figure out what you're doing on a daily basis. You know, I, lo I love comparisons, you know, because we're entrepreneurs, right? You know, if you weren't doing this and you had a J-O-B and you had to wake up at six, seven o'clock, get in traffic, you know, drive drive to that J-O-B with the zombies. And I call them the zombies. You see them at you know, between eight and nine a.m. where they are just zoned out doing what they always do and showing up to that desk job, you know, by nine o'clock in the morning. You know, if you had a job and that's what you were doing and, and maybe you were being paid well for it, maybe a hundred thousand to 200,000 a year. And it's just what you had to do. Why? Because it was the responsibility of, of maintenance, the responsibility to maintain that certain level of income that you were promised for hours in exchange. But you also have to follow rules and guidelines in order to maintain and keep it. Why? Because you know, job is, is not guaranteed. You have to have a certain level of performance in order to keep that J-O-B. Now, when you reflect and you take a look back at your own personal business, you I'm not saying you gotta wake up and you gotta drive like a zombie on, on I-40 and every, every morning and then sit in traffic for another hour and a half. Y'all, y'all catch when I'm drifting here. This is not what we do. <laughs> like we've got the, we've got the the freedom and flexibility, you know, to the advantage of this TLG system. Yep, you can go drive to appointments, but you know, you can set your own hours, you can set your own time, and 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 you don't have to drive in long, you know, traffic situations. You don't have to sit at a desk. You don't have to ask for time off. You don't, you don't have to do things like that. But what the re different responsibilities are if you're on a GMR. You have the responsibility to maintain your GMR, your inventory, your lead flow, and maintain a certain level of what we call care ratio, because it would be irresponsible. It would be irresponsible of you to get inventory in, but let it sit on the shelf life and then lose. Or, or you have these clients, you know, and you can think of it two different ways. You know, if you've got a store, like you bring your inventory in, you let it sit and you don't open your door so people can buy it. Now it gets old and you have to throw it away, right? You know, it, with the same thing, there is a shelf life to the leads of, uh, because we do have competitors out there, but there's also a shelf life of urgency with our lead systems. There's a shelf life of, of what can happen with each one of your clients. You know, if you don't get to them fast enough, you know, I've talked to brand new agents who were like, oh man, you know, if I just gotten to them a day before, if I just gotten to them a couple days before, we wouldn't be in this situation. You know, it's the truth and it's like, but you know what, I know that this particular agent did everything they could to get in touch with them. They called them the first day they had it. But if it just reached us through the mail one day before, but we don't want it to always be our fault. We don't want any time to be our fault that because we didn't work hard enough. We didn't work with consistency or urgency to get to these people in a timely manner. That's how you have to take your business seriously. You know, we we um we wear two hats, obviously. You know, we, are, we go out there and we serve clients and we protect people, but we also, you know, as leaders, we go out and we serve people and show them an opportunity like this. And I don't ever want y'all to take this opportunity for granted. You know, this opportunity can can provide time off, you know, with family. It can provide quality of life with family. But, but you have to sacrifice that time off with more time in so you can reap the reward, you know, and, and it's, you know, Art, Art talks about this all the time, ROI, investment, you know, we're, we're teaching y'all 
to go from you know 150 a week of investment to 250 to 350, you know, to 650. All we want to get y'all to a thousand a week in lead investments, so you can write your eight to twelve thousand dollars in premium on a weekly basis, and then you could teach others to do the same. Do the same, and that's that's what we really have to offer as a full time opportunity in TLG. You know, really, really look back at what you have going on about your time in and time off. You know, think about what you want. What is your vision for your business and yourself and your family? They've got to be a part of that that talk. They've got to be a, a part of uh, you know what you have going on. So sit back and reflect because more time off is less productivity. You know, you may think that you're you're resting or whatever, you know, whatever excuse that your mind comes up with because uh, because complacency kicks in. You have to learn how to fight it off and get back in and move out with energy. Tips, tips to make that happen. Read books, communicate with your upline, listen to audio, engage and plug into workplace. Write down your vision and your goals on a daily basis. Let's get out, let's get after it, let's go to it. We are 10 days into February. Mid-month comes out on the 15th. Are you doing everything that you possibly can be doing to, uh, to ensure that you are maximizing your potential on a daily basis? Those are the thoughts that you should be having. That you wake up, wake up. I love Blaze's wake up and win, man. Wake up and win on a daily basis. Wake up and hit the ground running every single day because time, <laughs> time is uh, a lot of times it's not on our side. So we've got to use in every minute, every breath, and we've got to get after it every single day. This team is on their way to a million dollars a month. Mark my words, we're going to have some managers step up. We've got a conference coming up in, uh, in May, uh, I believe in May. Yeah, May 14th and 15th, VIP party on the 13th. Get your registrations in. You know, register today. I think the link went up yesterday. There's a four-month payment plan. Get your registrations in as fast as possible and start inviting people to register and meet us in Orlando, Florida as as uh, you know as soon as you possibly can. Just start talking about it. Let's see how many people we can get there. Let's see how many lives we could change in 2021 because don't we know they need it? Don't we know they need it since 2020? We've got the answer. Go be the problem solver. Call me if you need me, GT.